So why should I make mushroom tea? Have you ever excitedly eaten mushrooms and then you just find yourself these stomach pains and discomfort and cramps? This is definitely one of the least enjoyable aspects of eating raw cubensis and usually sets the stage for an uncomfortable experience. The stomach issues are partly due to the hard to digest chitin in the mushroom cell walls. You can avoid having to digest most of this chitin by extracting the psilocybin with a solvent. Um, in normal words, making tea. Now making mushroom tea might seem straightforward, but there's a couple of steps we can use to significantly improve the extraction. But first we gotta start off with our mushrooms. We're gonna be using some albino penis envies, otherwise known as apes from Silicon Valley. You'll also need a lemon, a grinder, and a mug. Tip number one is to break up your mushrooms. The amount and strain are up to you. I'm breaking these up into chunks that are about two to four millimeters. I use this cheap Bellister grinder and it works perfectly. You don't want it too fine so that it's hard to filter later. So now we're gonna move on to the actual extraction process. And this is where it kind of diverts from your typical cup of tea. So our goal here is we wanna pull as much of the medical ingredients out of the mushroom as possible. So tip number two is to use lemon. A lot of people have heard of the lemon tech method in which an excessive amount of lemon juice is used. And I think this is totally unnecessary. Like we only need to convert maybe 10 or 20 milligrams into silicin. Just one lemon slice has plenty enough acidity to convert this amount. I'll start by squeezing my lemon slice into the mug. As you can see here, the mushrooms are wet, but not soaking. Next, I'll add water so that the acid can travel into all parts of the mushrooms. So a lot of people assume we're making tea, we need to use hot water. This is definitely the conventional way, but it's not necessary to extract the psilocybin. Um, psilocybin is very soluble in room temperature water, um, around two grams per liter. So a cup of room temperature water has plenty enough capacity to dissolve all of our medicine into it. A lot of you are probably cringing at all the typical methods I've just thrown out. I'll just do an experiment to prove that this does improve the process. So I'm gonna prepare one glass with just hot water, and to the second, I'll follow all my methods and use a slice of lemon and tap cold water. And I'll let these both sit for 30 minutes to steep. After 30 minutes, you can definitely see a color difference. The cup of hot water has a more yellow hue to it and is slightly less opaque. And you can see the cup with lemon developed a darker blue color. I think that this proves that you don't need to use hot water to prepare your mushroom beverage. However, hot water is useful for adding flavor. Some of the flavorings I have here are ginger, honey, stingy nettle that I forged myself, or just your favorite bag of tea. So I hope you enjoyed my guide on making a great cup of mushroom tea. I'm just gonna whip up my own cup here with some stingy nettle, honey, ginger, and I like to steep the tea separately and then add my filtered mushrooms to the top. Now I'm gonna bring this cup outside and enjoy by a serene landscape. I hope you learned something from our guide. Visit silsonvalley.biz for more articles, information, and content. And subscribe to see our upcoming videos detailing different genetics.